Hey, welcome back my beautiful people. So today we will be quickly discovering what makes you sexy. So uh, this was one of the most chosen topics uh, when we kind of explored which topics you guys would like to be represented in these readings. So let's start. Uh, you have temperance pile one, sun pile two or lovers pile three. So pick one of these and we will quickly check it. Temperance, sun or lovers. So let's see what makes you sexy for those of you who chose this temperance. What makes you sexy? What makes you sexy? What makes you sexy? What makes you sex? See. File one. So pile one. What I'm sensing with this temperance card and just by association, uh, just by looking at her face, your patience, patience that you possess is meditative in somehow, uh, some way. So people almost feel like uh, that this Zen, this tranquility of your mind, this kind of spiritual feature of yours. So that's something that people kind of feel it's, it's really really hot about you. If you have following people find it sexy that you have following or that you one day will attain some type of fandom even if you don't have it people see you as attaining that so uh, that's something interesting that they could really be finding interesting about you and then for a lot of you you could be having this beautiful balance when it comes to knowing when to break take a break or take a pause and when to be impulsive, assertive, even aggressive if this situation asks or demands for that. So, uh, yeah, but the, with the aid of swords you can be contained in an abusive or toxic situation for a lot of you. You know how to pick your battles with these ten of wands. Uh, and if you feel like the situation isn't in accordance with your standards, you want to remain. So that's something beautiful. For a lot of you with the tree of water reversed, your friend circle is really sexy to people or how you relate to people from your friend circle. I'm also getting people find it sexy that they are realizing that a lot of friends of yours have kind of crushes on you or have the hearts for you. So that's something really interesting uh, for them. But with Mars and Cancer, for a lot of people, people kind of get turned on by your chest area. There's something correlated to that. Uh, people really dig it, is what I'm sensing strongly. And then people, I'm getting that they, real, they like you more in your mo most relaxed states, in a way. So. Yeah, that's something that tends to be beautiful. But then with this read, reverse your intellectualization can be slightly strange, slightly weird. You may have odd intellectual or mental interests or you just uh, kind of devour topics that other people wouldn't really consider uh, spending their free time on or something, whatever it is. So, and with this receive, reverse, you kind of want to exploit people in a way 
but there's something very feminine about your essence, about your energy. See how this woman looks and this one. Uh, I'm getting that if you are a woman, the masculine energies immediately want to kind of, I don't know, take off their jacket and give it to you. Make sure that you are not cold or something. Uh, make sure you are taken care of materially, that you are safe and sound. Basically, they become like caveman wanting to perform for you in a way. So... What's sexy about you is that you kind of uh, evoke this deepest inherent masculinity in men or masculine energies. And for my male viewers or uh, those more interested in feminine energies, feminines feel like they can be like this woman here in their true feminine essence, feminine uh, element. They can be, you know, nurturing, dancing, healing, whatever it takes. So apply for your uh, preferences, however it, this resonates. So that's beautiful. With the Leo in second house, there can be something very shining and big when it comes to your eyes area. Your eyes can be big or uh, they can be really prominent because Leo or Sun is where uh, our ego is based. So, so second house is house of speech, of eyes, of food that we ingest, of uh, quality of our voice, of, uh, how do I say, gems and things like that that we possess. So, But majorly when it comes to your face, there's something very regal about your uh, features. That's something that I'm sensing from this one. Hey, but if you like this small report, give it a small like so that it reaches more people. Yeah, but we also have the Taurus in fourth house. Beautifully, beautifully built torso and chest for a lot of you, for the majority of you in this pile. And the moon in Aqua, you ha just have this scientific thinking to you where people just want to... I'm also hearing some of you may have like almost scientific thinking when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to religion or your mind finds a way to perfectly blend the two topics in a way. So that's something that people could be uh, considering really sexy. Then there's something about your legs. I'm getting that people really love your legs and some of you may have sexy knees. This coming for some reason. You know how knees are with most people, they aren't really the most beautiful place uh, in our lower body, but for you a lot of people uh, consider them really beautifully built. So, very, very beautiful constitution down there. This is something that they could be considering sexy. And then, um, yeah, people like how you are at weddings, graduations, uh, birth announcements, things like that, where, where something is celebrated. Uh, they really feel like you had some type of secret spice for them to make those events kind of something extraordinary. Basically, they don't start until you show up and, uh, let me just see, cooperation and compromise with this one. So, I just feel like you can make even the most, even the people with the most fixed natures easily compromise and cooperate in the situation. Even the most alpha, the most narcissistic personalities kind of, you have your own manipulative, subtle, uh, um, how do I say, subtle, al almost uh, unnoticeable ways of making them to succumb to your wishes in a way. So, a lot of you are really good at manipulating narcissists and this is something that people have noticed and that they appreciate, uh, that they find sexy. Uh, let me see, you do have the, the path toward enlightenment. People find sexy uh, your spiritual path, your uh, basically path to nirvana. So some of you are repeatedly saying mantras. Some of you are doing like uh, bhakti yoga where you say the devotional names of uh, deity or something like that. And for the others, you know, uh, you attend your church regular, regular, regularly. Yeah. So, whichever is your chosen preference when it comes to how you relate to the spirituality, people really, really dig it, they get turned on by it, they kind of want to hear more. Uh, they tur get turned on by the content they, that you devour, uh, books that you read, especially if you tend to post like quotes from books or uh, something like that. A lot of people would really want to have some type of sapiosexual uh, 
mental sex is what I'm see hearing. So I'm getting this pile can just by the power of your speech create that level of persuasion in others that they really want to pursue something more physical, more sexual too. So uh, people would basically want for you to speak to them to make them feel turned on. Uh, real powerful pile in this one. I also do have the Mercury in uh, fifth house. So from fifth house, Mercury is looking the eleventh house of gains. So I'm hearing for a lot of you your job, what you do for a living, uh, how you earn your uh, income is basically like fun for you because Mercury denotes having fun from the fifth house of uh, having fun. At the same time, it aspects the eleventh house of income and gain, our professional network circle. So first off, your professional network circle uh, thinks you are the most uh, charming person ever and secondly you are destined to have some type of a career uh, which will really be like playing like doing your favorite activity uh, and having income from it kind of for me that's terrible I really enjoy it it's kind of like game and you get to help people in a way uh, so the similar I'm sensing for you guys, whatever you are ch you choose, it doesn't have to be your current field of profession, but you are meant, you are destined to end up in something really, really close to your soul and really, really light for you, if that will make sense. So, yeah, beautiful. Let me see. Yeah, the people are so get attracted to your... Uh, kind of alpha or badass nature in this one also and how uh, equally strong you are perhaps your right and left sides of brain are equally developed yeah but I'm gonna end it here uh, for the first one I hope you guys enjoyed this small report if you did see in the next one too bye bye For those of you who chose this sun. Let's see what people find. What do people find sex? What do they find sex here? What do people find sexy about you? What do people find sexy about you? To find sexy just how you are in your effortless state with this speaker. Uh, also, if you have brownish or hazel eyes, that's something that they find sexy. They find sexy your nail game. Uh, perhaps you're somebody who often does uh, pedicures, manicures, things like that. Uh, they find you sexy in your rugged states, especially when you wake up or something, but you, when your makeup isn't still yet applied or uh, for my masculine, if you have, when you have a little bit of bedroom haircut, you know, uh, or three days beard, then also uh, I'm getting people really find sexy uh, the way you kiss. Uh, I'm getting that the, your kissing game is really, people get stuck on you and they get consumed by the thoughts of wanting to repeat it. Uh, as soon as you kiss them, basically they are your slaves in a way. People could be finding sexy with this ten of air reversed card. Uh, they kind of don't feel like you are too much. You have too big. Uh, how do I say psychological baggage? So uh, unlike many people, you are somebody who oh, either either that or you have found a way to kind of maintain the psychological uh, and mental hygiene in a way where you are more more healed psychologically than the other people. So 
that's something interesting also how you recover from bad states uh, of your life of your being of your bodily readiness we have here recovering from addiction it's reversed so how you recovered from addictions for some of you or whichever you consider vices in your life this pile uh, and having this feeling that you have su successfully overcame something that this is something that people find really really hot about you so how you are in the midst of change how easily you embrace the change people find sexy if you like wearing hair in a bun they find sexy your occult knowledge uh, because we do have that Asclepius wand here which represents the healing pharmacy and things like that so uh, either you are or you will be learning some type of healer path in your future and with the if you hand, have like hand or finger tattoos that's something that people find uh, sexy or like arm tattoos something correlated to that mm, they just see this huge amount of fieriness in this one so uh, if you are a woman, you could be very healthily in touch with your masculine side in a way where even masculines go crazy about you if you like that. Uh, and for, for the others, it's just your ferocious nature uh, that kind of want people, that makes people want uh, basically be under your command. I'm getting kind of that song, I believe it was Kelly Rowland, uh, Commander or something. So I'm hearing people want you to be their uh, dominatrix sexually, or for guys they want you to dominate them. Uh, I'm getting also uh, for guys or people interested in women, pretty powerful women get stuck on you, you know. Uh, they develop attraction and they can't move on from you. Uh, and for the others, uh, you will be considered that powerful woman uh, that guys just get hooked on in a way. Uh, I'm almost hearing that your sex appeal is somewhat occult, you know. Uh, your sex appeal is considered somewhat witchy. People could be feeling like you mesmerized them, like you uh, created a spell to make them uh, stuck on you in a way. But I'm getting it's just your sheer Kundalini energy power, your sexual energy uh, power. And for some of you, a strong gaze, because we see how uh, of a strong gaze this woman has on the pig or a guy, whoever it is. So, yeah, you're somebody recognized as somebody who is a team player. Uh, your work is pretty much high, high quality. Uh, and I'm getting like your colleagues and co-workers don't know a lot about you. They would want to more, know more. Your mystery makes you sexy. Even your undecisiveness, things that you consider your flaws can make you look sexy. When people kind of wonder, is she into me? Is she not? You know, I'm getting somebody out there can't really decipher whether you like them or whether you're not. And I'm getting that you are doing, doing something good, but because they say that we like more people that we aren't sure about uh, when it comes to their affection for us. Uh, at least that's psychological theory, so... Hmm, really interesting in this one. You could be somebody who puts a lot of attention into home decor. For example, if you buy new glasses for your home, they would be like this. Uh, there would be some type of spiritual symbolism or there would be an aesthetically very pleasing element or, or they would go really well with that painting that you have in your living room. So there's something correlated to that in this one. Yeah, your psyche, psychic insights. But I'm getting like your, your psychic insights are, are almost effortless. And this pile would be good in sexual magic. Explore that. Uh, but it's basically manifesting while you use certain sexual physical activities uh, because you, it's all because you have this strong sexual energy kundalini power and people just they can smell it so from this one i'm getting that this will most most likely be the most sexual or uh, most sexually developed power forgot to put white flashcards uh, yeah, and you release a lot of your fears. People feel like you're somebody who have worked a lot, perhaps on one specific pho phobia or your anxiety, or you had 
panic attacks, even with this ten of swords reverse that you kind of put under control. Uh, and people really admire it. They admire that they find uh, you being... It's almost like they feel like you have some type of an angelic uh, protection over you. Uh, I'm getting especially people who insult you get a quick karma for what they do. Uh, and you are sexy because people know that you are a spiritual badass in a way. Uh, even if you aren't very transparent about your convictions, uh, they can kind of smell it. So, hey, but if you like this small report, give it a small like so that it reaches more people. I'm getting your eyelashes are sexy also and your uh, lipstick game. Especially if you are like a woman into women, like lesbian, lipstick lesbian. I'm hearing people just adore that. But for the others as well. Uh, People love either shade of your lipsticks or something, perhaps how you correlate them with your outfits or something. So there is that. People feel like they will have kind of very private romance or private relationship, situationship, romantic, whatever with you. Uh, and they feel very safe knowing that you uh, won't just disclose uh, their personal private secrets. You could be somebody known as keeper of the secrets in some type of way, especially if you are readers or in some type of occult science. Uh, so that's something that people find sexy. And I think people tend to borrow clothes from you and people find this sexy. Your hoodies, if you are a guy, things like that. Your girlfriends or partners could want to borrow your hoodies. And for my feminines, it can be like many women want to kind of share uh, or borrow your clothes, you know, for some type of important events or something. Uh, things like that. People see this quality in you and they find it really sexy. And just how humble uh, in the midst of everything you are. Yeah, there's something about your dress sense that, they, that people really want to emulate. So some of you overcame PTSD is what I'm hearing. Uh, or some type of really disruptive uh, event in your life. Something happened that not a lot of people have to undergo in a way and you overcame and transcended that. And just your charisma, your humor, how you command uh, the attention in the room, room, your authority, your sex appeal. You in red is what I'm sensing and in pink for some reason. Even for my guys it doesn't matter. Uh, so... That's beautiful. We do have the Mercury in first house, so you are very youthful. You could be somebody who kind of has retained like adolescence, adolescent figure or facial features. Perhaps you consume something like collagen or something that uh, helps you remain youthful because this Mercury kind of uh, really makes us look younger, you know, in a way. Uh, younger but bossy vibe simultaneously. Uh, and you're somebody who is very objective and you will say, let's say your friend has a friend that she doesn't like and that friend has insulted you sometime. You will be somebody who will say and give like an objective advice to their argument. You will say, uh, wait, well, wait a little bit longer and then you will know what you have to do. So things like that. People love and find sexy your objective advice that you can... Uh, basically recommend and suggesting things uh, outside of your own mindset, your own uh, limitations. So that's something that's sexy for people. People find sexy if you, if you have apps or if you are training them. I'm hearing some of you have worked on your stomach muscles. So there is that. Yeah, and your neck and your collarbones and this one. Yeah, but I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, see you in the next one too. Bye-bye. Lovers, for those of you... Let's see what you people find sexy about you.
Or do people find sexy? find sexy that you can be breadcrumbed so you aren't somebody who will allow an equal give and take situation they find sexy how uh, you could be somebody who is oblivious to your naysayers so let's say somebody from your college group doesn't like you uh, and they try to showcase that and you will be somebody who won't even notice you know uh, and then then that person feels furious and desperate uh, because you're not even acknowledging uh, their bad energy sent over you or something like that, something similar to that. So uh, basically you can be very, you could be lacking concentration in a very crucial and powerful moments. Uh, so yeah, people kind of uh, dig this about you, but with this page of water card, people feel like you do have some type of deep inherent sensitivity, but this is more not correlated to you, but like not to hurt other people's feelings. They know that you will not purposefully uh, instill suffering onto somebody, um, but if they do trust the boundary, they know, do know that it's well-deserved type of uh, sting, if that makes sense. People find sexy your laugh, the way you make them laugh. Uh, they also find it sexy how you have your moments when you're not laughing, when you're serious. And uh, so this this group can basically be comedian, but at the same time, uh, you have your moments where you're not really open uh, for joking around and things like that. So that's something that's sexy to people. People find sexy. How you talk to them when you are aroused or when you have the crush on them. They find sexy your partner if you are taken your potential partner uh, because you two could already be some type of talk of the town if the people uh, feel like you are twin flames or soulmates or something. And if you aren't already in a connection, people will be very turned on by the type of a partner also that you have. So they will, you will, you and you, your partner will somehow elevate your standards to each other. And I'm also hearing for this part, you may take your partner's or your partner, your religion for some reason. So if you have noticed that you have karma of attracting people from another religions, then this is the most likely scenario. People find that you are incredibly sexy when you are taken, when you are in love. So, but they also find it sexy that, that you are not desperate for love with this Ten of Cups. I feel like you were one of those people like who were like, well, it, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't, you know. So, and people feel like you will have a very rewarding family life. All your emotional needs will be met. Your relationships are trustworthy uh, and those which are not get quickly cut in a way. So people find your brain sexy, see these all different areas of brain turned on. They could be feeling like you have realized like bigger percentage of your brain than the normal person or that meditation has somehow or spiritual knowledge has somehow expanded your uh, brain func functionality and you are uh, capable to learn more things and to uh, be smarter about things than the others and uh, you could have a broad skill set or just people feel like you are capable to learn or talented to learn much more things than the average person. So you could be somebody about uh, adamant about helping first grow or you perhaps consider going somewhere away to plan for some, this is something that people consider sexy. They find your physique really beautiful. I'm hearing really proportionate physique, uh, not in the extremes. They find your hair uh, really beautiful, if, especially if you have those of you who have reddish elements in your hair or uh, reddish layer to it, something like that. 
and getting through this pile, a new person is interested in you, somebody has developed a fresh crush on you, uh, but they could be feeling like you kind of don't notice them. So, and yeah, so basically there's this new cookie who wants you, but they're kind of getting desperate that you are oblivious to their advances or something, because we noticed in the beginning of the reading that you kind of have your moments of obliviousness and in the most most of the cases it's uh, when you shouldn't really see or hear something. Uh, but there is somebody who would really, really uh, want to get to know you better. This person may feel like uh, you have a beautiful laugh to you or playful laugh or something correlated to that. That you are just so open as a person and uh, there's just something welcoming about your vibe and this person can't really resist you because they feel like there's some type of tremendous I'm getting the vibes of first house of healing tremendous um, how do I say healer vibe to you guys so uh, basically they would want to get to know you better but what I'm also sensing uh, this is a little side note uh, what I'm also sensing, what makes you sexy, is people kind of like how you are when you apologize. So perhaps you're somebody who uh, can make some mistakes, you know. Uh, but it's rather, uh, how do I say, it? Um, it's rather out of your nonchalance. It's not really something that you do on purpose. You wouldn't uh, hurt others on purpose. But people kind of like how you are uh, when you extend an apology toward them, when you say that you didn't mean it like that. Uh, I'm even hearing for this one some people could be having a little bit of Stockholm Syndrome uh, correlated to you. So basically people get more turned on when you hurt them in a way or something. People find it sexy that you are in some type of new phase of your life where there's no more obstacles for you, your path is clear in a way. People find it sexy how you defend your beliefs or convictions, decisions. When you have decided something once, it's over and done with. So you stand your ground, you're wise when it comes to choosing your battles in a way. People love, people find sexy your love language. For example, if your love language, language is physical touch, they find it sexy uh, that you are somebody prone to touching them. Or uh, if it's word of uh, affirmation, you know, they love how you give compliments, whatever it is. Yeah, and with the Leo in six hours, I'm getting that your sole purpose in this lifetime is closely uh, tied to healing in some type of way so and it will be divided for some of you with animals and for the others uh, some type of healing but for the others this pile should be yeah basically like benefactor of an organization that somehow helps animals in this lifetime people already sense this potential uh, in you and find it hot in a way uh, I'm getting with Taurus in second house, some of you may have talent discovered or not yet of beautifully arranging food. Uh, I'm hearing even like, uh, how is it said, uh, molecular cooking or something like that. Uh, so that could be one of your latent talents or something like that. Or people just feel like you would be somebody who would be like excellent cook, excellent chef. Uh, they would want you to prepare something uh, to them because Taurus is this Venusian touch in the area of uh, food that we ingest in a way uh, so that's something interesting that people could be finding sexy people could be finding sexy that you're prone to age gap relationships for some of you who correlate with that so and that's beautiful then also with Mercury with, in 12th house you hide your knowledge and people could be finding sexy how you uh, could be hiding how educated you are or how much of knowledge you have or how much diplomas, degrees you have attained. Uh, that's not something that you are uh, just having out for everybody to see. So I don't know why, but I feel like it's be it's because most people tend to brag about those things. So that's the reason why. Yeah, I'm hearing people 
find sexy or will find sexy with the moon in second house the intensity of uh, scorpionic love of your future spouse or future partner toward you so I'm basically getting with moon in second house your future partner will be obsessed with you in a way so wherever the moon is we look uh, the exact opposite for the partner traits in a way so that's something beautiful that people could be uh, noticing or acknowledging about you so also with this Leo in uh, first house you're so theatrical your storytelling skills could be really amazing you have your ways of I don't know uh, you went outside today to the grocery shop and uh, then something happened where you bumped into some person you have your ways of uh, telling it to other people where they will be mesmerized by what you just said so pe people basically feel like you speak about everything like it's such a big uh, and dramatic deal in, a, in the most positive way they keep being engaged uh, to that their attention can, keeps being focused on you so uh, people find sexy if you're somebody who flirts through intellect to quotes to uh, the knowledge that you have or you possess or if you like discuss books with your potential partners or something things correlated to that um, yeah and then we have this hangman they find it sexy how strong your roots are you could be somebody who believes that the roots have to be equally strong if one will build on the if one will build in the spirituality realm uh, and things like that so those are one of the things that are really beautiful yeah and there's just something even for my feminine warrior like uh, in you so yeah basically if you are feminine people see you as this princess uh, warrior who will I don't know something like Robin Hood take from the poor and take from the rich and give to the poor or if you are a guy uh, the similar thing thing but in very protective even so more protecting manner so uh, if you have a thing for waters and oceans and swimming people find this sexy as well uh, let's see yeah, and people feel like you are really good you could sell the sand in the desert your skills are amazing you could be one of those types who pr first promise and take payment for something and then you learn how to do it uh, and people could find your arms sexy especially if you have some type of jewelry on it so especially your upper arm uh, if you would use some type of jewelry there uh, they would find this really amazing and beautiful uh, yeah and just how you look in dresses people uh, imagine you in wedding dress wedding suit however you correlate to that but I'm gonna end it here uh, for this pile uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this small report uh, if you did see you in the next one too bye bye